Now, what does a young professional look like? Well, it's more than looks. It's about action. It's about the movement. Whitney M. Young has been recognized throughout history for his impactful leadership. Young professionals must arm themselves with the latest tools, tactics, and technology to get things done. What I like, um, the training that the, um, uh, the recipients are receiving as far as leadership, as far as project management, those things are what's going to help them in the corporate world or in any company. And so from a Kroger standpoint, that's something that we can share with our senior leadership, that this is what YPs are getting trained on. Being innovative, um, energetic, excited about an opportunity to motivate people to get to the results, um, who are people-oriented and very personable, um, and also be reflective of the communities that we serve. From the various workshops, brainstorming sessions, and leadership coaching. I like to rephrase it and say, well, how do you benefit us with your skill set with the Urban League movement, mm -hmm. right? So make sure when you're telling that story, you're talking about the Urban League, who we are, what we do, and why. Young professionals, attendees found their training to be very beneficial. One of the key takeaways um, from the session for me was what gets re rewarded gets repeated and I think it's important to reward people for the great job that they're doing and especially for our volunteers because you don't have to give up your time and efforts to support the movement. The thing that I take away from this leadership conference is uh, the term reboot. Uh, that we have to repackage, rebrand ourselves so that we can be relevant to the movement, relevant to the young professionals in our area, and so that we can continue to make a positive impact and be empowered. One of the really great takeaways was to focus on, as a group of, of young leaders, how we can interact with each other to increase our power and connectivity amongst each other. This is actually my first opportunity coming to this conference. I've been within the organization and on the board for six years, um, and I realized that this is the conference that I need to make sure that I bring my people to. Um, so next year the focus really is going to be more so on the Whitney and Young training ground because as Richard said, you need to dig deep into that beehive um, and make sure that your bees pollinate and make sure that the work is actually done. And I think this is where the work is actually done. National is a great experience for our members, but I think for our leaders and our worker bees, we need them to be here. Because of the initiatives of the National Urban League, notables such as Steve and Marjorie Harvey, CNN contributor Dr. Steve Perry, and Martin Luther King III showed their support. You know, I've always been a supporter of everything, the Urban League, the NAACP, I have a radio show, so whatever they need, they come to me and I push. That's my relationship. You know, these people here in the Urban League, they're ground fighters. You come to my radio station, I got seven and a half million people. So I'm the source of, uh, I spread the word for them. Honored, first of all, that they would even think enough of what I'm doing to even award me with this this evening. You know, what I do, I love doing it. So it's just an amazing thing to be able to help these young girls and these young boys. I've had the opportunity to speak at a number of Urban League functions throughout the country, so supporting the cause, not just here in Atlanta, but throughout the country. What the I Am Empowered campaign means to me is about being unafraid, about wondering into the stars what life could be, how opportunities can be developed for not just me and my family and my house, but for my community and those people who benefit from my community's uh, toil. As Whitney M. Young so eloquently said, we must become an effective voice of the voiceless and an effective hope of the hopeless. One of the things that is so important is history, teaching our history of people that do not remember their history are doomed to repeat the mistakes of the past. And then understanding that history and then relating it uh, throughout our community. And if people are willing to understand there is an alternative and we're able to relate to young people that message, then ultimately we will create a better community. The first seed is history. Being here at the monument uh, today, or rather the King Center, uh, where Dr. King is buried, the center that was, uh, that's been dedicated to continuous work, is an important part of young professionals understanding the history of civil rights, the relationship between the Urban League uh, and Dr. King and SCLC and his legacy. The second seed is about personal and community empowerment. Uh, the seed of learning and knowledge and a commitment uh, for young people to educate themselves and to develop their talents and gifts. Com 
combined with that, however, is this importance of commitment to community. Uh, and we're planting that seed because the young professionals are all about commitment to the mission of the Urban League, support of the affiliates, uh, and working to better the community. The National Urban League Young Professional prides itself on carrying out its legacy. I'm empowered to help create pipelining for our young professionals of color and get them access to career development opportunities so that once they leave their corporate position, they can create entrepreneurship opportunities for themselves and for those who come after them. I really feel so much more empowered now to go back. I felt like at times like maybe I'm not doing enough and now I really feel inspired to go back and just do more, just to continue to work hard because this movement is so great and that's what this conference always reminds me of. I'm very, very, very much interested in spending much more time with the individuals I'm doing this with to cultivate a strong bond that we can then take out to the community as a wonderful example of who we are and what we're about as a nation, as an organization, as YPs, and as our own chapter. There's more work to get done. That, that's what I was reminded of. I mean, poverty being at an all-time high, uh, you know, you see a lot of sharp individuals here and they're considered success in, in their particular industry and field but uh, there are many others that have not made it here and not part of this success and we're just it's just a reminder it's a wake-up call we've got a lot of work to get done so the young professionals had a pretty intense weekend they were focused they worked hard and they managed to have a good time young professionals leadership for a better tomorrow